Okay, welcome back to my channel again, the place where I review all of my latest pickups and then also talk about all things streetwear, sneakers and menswear. So this is going to include sizing tips, my silhouette collections you might have seen in the past, my clothing collections and then just general thoughts on styles and all up and coming trends. Um, so cool, before we get into this, this is going to be an unboxing, um, so in customary fashion, fit pick of the day here as I get the box. So what I have on today is the Nike MX1 Prep Hemp, um, which are really, really favorite kind of MX1 from the last few years for me. Um, I have on the Amber Fear of God sweatshorts. Again, my favorite sweatshorts, you can probably tell I'm feeling this fit today. Um, what else do I have? The Maroon 021T, and then this Walnut um, as, uh, fitted from Sneaker Politics. So, well, I'm gonna, gonna get straight into the box. Um, just as I open this box, it does look quite dented. So this has come across from Germany. There's a hole in the side here, which is not great. I'm really hoping and praying since I opened the door just now that the actual sneaker box is not damaged. I guess we will see in a few seconds. Okay, it looks good so far. I'm gonna count my chickens and there's some dents at the bottom, but it looks pretty good so far. Yeah, okay, I think we are unscathed. That's good, that's good. So yeah, so here's the box. Um, as you can see here, this gray lid, ruse two across the top, and then a picture of a trout fish. Blue, uh, green at the bottom, again, ruse two, and I'll get into what all of this means. Select a bisso, and then size 45, which is a US 11 and a half. That is the sizing label. So, Kangaroos times Bisso or Selector Bisso Trout 2 in steel grey vapor grey. 11 and a half US sizing. So, so yeah, that's the shoe and it is a um, R1 coil. Um, so this is my first ever pair of, of roos or kangaroos. Um, and I got them from hhv.de, which is a German sneaker and vinyl store um, in Berlin. And I'm just going to read the, um, grab my laptop and read the, the About Us page on their website because I thought they were a really kind of interesting um, company, really. So it says, vinyl streetwear and sneakers and more good stuff carefully composed since 2002. So they've been around for 20 years. For the digital age, HHV Vision was discovered and shaped at a records fair and a flea market in our hometown Berlin. Um, for ho a home for vinyl lovers was quickly created with a small shop right through to the very website you can see that you can read these lines now um, so I won't read all of it but there's an image up um, on on screen so you can read that at your own leisure so just quickly before we get into the shoes themselves which is obviously what we're here for so in terms of like the cop experience and the price that I paid so Ruse if you've ever worn them before as I say, it's my first pair, but I have nearly pulled the trigger on a bunch of pairs. They can be really expensive because they are very, very well made. HHV had a 20% sale, and then suddenly one morning I saw a discount code, which for 25% that would work in unison um, with that code. So I ended up paying 221 to my door. The price to my door would have been 350 so I basically saved myself 130 bucks there, which is, um, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, and it was enough for me to, to pull the trigger. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm going to do just really quickly is before we get into them in hand and before I take them out of the box, I just really want to read the write up. So give a bit more um, uh, focus on or context of what you're seeing. And so I'll just pull out a few bits on here again, image so you can read in your own time on screen. Sneaker and music art connoisseur selected, um, uh, yeah, selected Bisso has reconnected with footwear brand Kangaroos for one final launch of 2022. So these did come out late 2022, bringing real fish skin. So that was one of the points I wanted to bring out um, in the colorway um, to Kangaroos R1, a coil R1 silhouette. The two expand on their made in Germany collaborations with Trout 2. So the, that expansion is Trout 1 is also a pair. 
um, tapping into street fishing inspiration. Beso has blended grey of city life with the hits of vibrant colours knowing to fish and the waters they reside in. So again, you can pause the video and read the rest of it. I don't want to bore you with it. Um, but um, what I'll do now is get this off. I've already shown you this. I will go into the details. So there is a bag as well. But just before we cut away, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to this. And we'll come back to this. Lots of goodies that comes with these pairs okay. so far. Little bag here. So we'll come back to all of that. Just wanted to get them out because, to be honest, um, I've been waiting a while for these to come across from Berlin and I just really want to see them. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll straight away cut off to some close-up close, close in-hand B-roll. There they are in all their glory. It's an amazing looking pair. So yeah, let's cut away um, and see some in-hand footage now. Okay, so here they are, up close and in hand. As you can see, I mentioned earlier the fish scale. So if I just tilt that, you can see in the red and the black that there are literal fish scales on there. So this is made up of recycled um, food waste. Um, you can see that on the toe box. And then here on the inside, mainly red, and then that little bit of black in the middle. So this is the opposite of what we saw on the other side, these two colors are flipped. What is also quite interesting here, you can see this is pair 319 of 500. And then you have the little trout at the back. Um, they have on the inside here, handcrafted in Germany. And it's also a little pocket with a with some Velcro here. Um, you can see the German, handmade in Germany um, logo also. And then on that gray, super, super nice gray suede, um, we have the kangaroos too. On the insole, I'll just put this down, pull the insole out of the other shoe. The insoles look very similar. This one is obviously gray. The other one is, yeah, is green. Um, and you have the trout on there. The other side is also a really funky mixture of colors. Um, some spare laces. So they come with greens. And they also come with this kind of red-ish type color. I might go with these greens because I think I feel like I have a pair of shorts that go well with that. Um, yeah, that's it's kind of the, the pair. Nice little green hit at the back here. And then it says Dynacoil. Um, outsole gum with a little pinkish red hit. Um, a few moments later. And welcome back. Um, so we'll round off the video now. With, I just again wanted to kind of give a bit more background. So again, I'll kind of cut away to, to some to some video. Um, what is Selecta Bisso? So again, you can read in your own time. Um, it's the real name of Fabrice Leboff. Grew up in Guadeloupe. Um, and from the, the look of the blurb on the website, hugely into hip hop and all things kind of like sneaker um, culture in the 80s and I want to say probably 90s as well. So again, I'll leave that to Kind of run through and you can pause and read that in your own time um so i said before this is trout two there is a trout one image up here and this is the second rendition of that um Biso also did a v7 diodora v7000 last year which is one of the pairs that i really want that i still haven't been able to get hold of so look out for a video on those if i can ever find them in my size um i want to say these so these are limited to 500 i think those v7000s are limited to 250 maybe around there um, so again, I'll pop up some images about Ruse. Once I've tried these on, maybe on DS them and I kind of got a feel for it. I've got had the short list of the Sneakerholics Bubblegum up here, the Playmakers here, uh, the Sneaker Bus um, Turtles, and the Sneaker Bus Sin City 1 and 2. Um, they're the kind of pairs that I've had in mind. So yeah, depending on how well I got on with these, I'll you know, kind of rejuvenate the hunt for those. Um, so yeah, just to wrap up right at the end, um, so a score out of 10. So I think just in terms of like the overall finish on this, this is super, super impressive. I say this, I go with a nine, maybe an, even a nine and a half. Let's, let's go nine. I'll go with a nine on these. Obviously I haven't worn them yet. So proof is in the pudding, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, nine out of 10, great way to, to nearly end the half year. And with that, on that note, um, you will see a top nine for 2023 H1 top nine sneakers of the year 
video in the next kind of month or so, so I start compiling lists. Um, I think these are probably going to feature on that, even though it's a 2022 shoe. I'll do the two videos I did at the end of last year. So yeah, that's it for the video. One class, one final little kind of close up just before I finish off. There they are, the Trout 2. Um, yeah, again, another video I really enjoyed making. Hope you enjoyed watching it. That's it from me. Over and out.